Hello everyone, let's come down to our mats for this Thursday evening yoga session. I don't know why my mats can't quite that far over. I'll just pull it slightly this way. I'm having a, a Sonia moment, rearranging my mat to get it to align properly. Anyway, let's come down to lying all the way down on our backs, on our mats. Let's place our hand to heart, centre hand to the tummy. And let's take a deep breath in. As we exhale, just let the whole tension of the day go. Again, take that deep breath in. Exhale. And, and let's just see if we can just take this breath a little lower, a little slower. Breathing out for the count of six, five, four, three, two, one, and in for six. And out, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feeling a hand on the tummy rise up and then fall away as we breathe out. One more breath over here. And then we're gently going to slide those heels up towards the bottom of the knees up in the air. And gently let those knees just roll one way and the other off the A gentle waft to the left or waft to the right. So imagine you're lying on a towel, on a recliner next to a pool dappled shade, cold drink beside you, a beautiful view in front. And then let's dream these knees all the way into the chest, hard roll, just circling those ankles around. And then gently move one way, and then the other. From here, we're going to cross the ankles, grab hold of the feet, and we're going to rock and roll, massaging that spine as we come up to sitting. Remember, you can come up to sitting anywhere you fancy, but I fancy this way. And once we get here, let's interlace those fingers in and out, take a deep breath in. Let's let it chow, and that breath come all the way out. And we go, take that deep breath in, press those palms away. Exhale, those hands raise all the way down. Fabulous. We're going to take a gentle twist. We're going to take the hands high and let the hands rain down. As we exhale, let those not go. As we inhale, exhale. Those curls down. Inhale, we breathe the time. And gently bring ourselves back to centre. Let's take it to the other side. Taking it up and just letting ourselves come around. Exhale, curl that nose down into the chest. Inhale, draw a line in the sky. Center. Fabulous. From here, we're going to take a circular cat cow. So as we inhale, we're going to circle around right to the front. As we exhale, we're going to circle around right to the back. Seeing how it feels, adjusting, amending, making movement feel good for you. Fabulous, let's take it in reverse the other way around. Let's 
keeping that breath flowing. There's no right nor wrong. It's just deep. Going to sit fabulous from here. We are going to come all the way over onto our hands and knees. We've got a standing flow to do today. First, let's wake up that spine that's cat and cow. Let's find that movement. Feels good. Fabulous and sinking all the way back into that child's pose, or three child's pose, extended child pose, whatever tickles you fancy. Bring the hands wide, side of the back. You feel that breath flowing in. Yeah. Yeah. From here, we're going to inhale and come to high knee. We're going to bring those hands to heart center. Let's inhale right in the height of the sky. Exhale, we're going to just sink back into that child's pose, sending the temples out. Inhale up to our tabletop. Turn the toes, exhale up into downward dog. Send it back to child pose. Inhale to tabletop, extending the left leg all the way out behind. Before we exhale, bring it forward. And let's rise. Take the hands high. Exhale, let them rain down. Bring the knees back together, send it back to child pose. Inhale, back to tabletop, extend the left leg out behind. All the other one, drop on the other knees. Exhale, bring it forward. Maybe crunch. Inhale to rise, reaching those hands, big beach ball overhead. Exhale, we sink it down. Put the knees back. Sink it back, child's pose. Inhale to rise, tabletop, tuck the toes, send it back, down the dog. Inhale to plank, anchor the knees and tuck the toes, bring ourselves all the way down to the floor. Inhale to rise, exhale lower, tuck the toes, exhale come up into our tabletop and let's sink it back into extended child pose, bringing the head to the knees to the back. Flow all the way down again. Breath is low and slow. That is from here. Let's inhale. Bring it up to tabletop. Tucking the toes. Let's exhale. Take it up into our downward dog. Remember coming up to standing however you wish to. This does not feel great for you. Take a little paddle, and a little walk in the dog, bending one knee and then the other. And from here, let's walk the feet into the hands. We come into that forward fold, that gentle sway. Inhale up to that flat back position. Lengthen. Exhale, take that forward fold. Sway. And from here, we're generally going to exhale and put ourselves all the way up, up to standing, up to a mountain. Fabulous, I'm going to turn sideways so I can see you all. 
So we come to our mountain. And we're going to come about midway, midway up our mat, no matter which way we're facing. And let's just come to standing. And let's palms rain forward. And let's just close our eyes. Centering again on that breath. flows in and as it flows out. The shoulders slide a little further down the back. Stand a little taller. Fabulous. And we're still with the eyes closed. We're just gonna lift one foot, replace and lift the other. Gently, like a cat padding on the spot, the lifting one foot and then replacing. And then we're going to come back to that point of stillness again. And the feet will be where it feels comfortable to be buzz. And we're just going to lengthen up a little taller. Fabulous. Tuck our chin in slightly. So somebody's lifting up like the back of a coat hanger in the back of your jacket. Focus. From here we're going to inhale. Reach the hands all the way up and overhead with arms to touch. Bat the eyes open. And then just be aware, can we shrug the shoulders or can we just relax the shoulders? Just bringing the hands just to the breath. So as we exhale, we're going to bring the hands down, but I had a center, all the way down to our chest, and let them fall to our side. And we're going to take that deep inhale again, arms scooping all the way up, overhead, fingers to touch. Exhale, palms come together to your third eye, past your eyes, nose, chin. Center. And just let the fingers fall. Again, scoop his hands all the way up. And this time, as the hands come down to heart center, I'm just going to step our feet wide. And the knees are above the heels, knees and toes in the same direction, and we're sat on that great big platform. Take the arms into the goddess pose. Hands, arms open to receive stillness or movement. Just batting the eyes closed for three more breath cycles. Is from here, we're going to inhale, palms going to reach behind you, little fingers to the sky, into a form of star, legs are straight. As we're reaching those fingertips, then we're going to turn the palms, the palms face up, and we're going to reach from one arm to the other, and then turn the palms down. Shoulders are relaxed, legs are wide, we're in our star. Stillness or movement, your choice. From here, we're going to bring the hands down all the way to touch overhead. We're going to exhale, bring them down to heart center, bringing those feet in together. Brilliant. We're going to bring them all the way to touch. And the hands drop down. Let's inhale, bring the hands all the way together above our heads. And then we're going to take some mind moving. We're going to gently stretch the fingers all the way over to the left hand corner. Head's nice and loosey goosey. The fingers are just stretching. We're pressing equally into all four corners of the feet. Just breathing it through. 
free. Fabulous from here, we're going to inhale, step it wide, back into our star. Palms facing the floor. It's a little bit more stillness, your choice. Here we're going to inhale, reach the hands together. Up, up. Exhale, walk the feet together, hands to heart center. Toes and heels to touch, unless that doesn't feel comfortable, in which case take the feet wider. As the hands sink. We're going to inhale, bring the hands together. Up our heads, and then we're going to take that exhale, that sideways bend into that present moment. Stepping the present moment. Okay, the glutes are turned on. Head is nice and loosey goosey. Fingertips are reaching. Oh, yeah. Gently bring it all the way down. <coughs> now, just making sure you've got space around you. So I'm going to turn at this point. We're going to come into our balances and from here we're going to inhale, bring ourselves up into front march. We step that foot behind us, not too far. Both legs feet parallel to the floor, not parallel, both feet on the floor, feet not on a tight rope. Okay, legs are straight and we're going to take it into that pyramid pose. And the tail feathers back, both legs. The softness in this front knee exits slightly. So we're going to transfer the weight onto this front leg and bring that back leg up. It's all warrior three. Breathing it through. Just on touching the wall if you want to, and on the block if you need. So we'll right the wrong, it's whatever works for you tonight. And then we're gonna exhale, bring ourselves back up into that front march. And gently release the foot down. Take that gentle flap. Release all that tension. And take it to the other side. Bring your hands together, heart centre. Let's inhale, come up into that front march. Back there. From there, we're going to step on foot, not very far behind, until we come into that triangle shape for pyramid. Okay, send this tail feathers back. Body body parallel to the floor. It's the gin softening this front leg as we lift the back leg and come into our warrior three. And the exhale, bring us into our back into that front. Gently release that foot down, making that strata flap. All that tension go. Focus of mind. Just let the tension go from the body. Just close the eyes. That breath. Release all that tension back. We come back. Back into a balance pose, then we come into our country options. Toe can stay on the floor, over knee, or it can sit at the top of the thigh. It's all good, it doesn't really matter. It's whatever weight for you. We're going to stand tall, bring the hands to heart center, 
pressing this leg into this leg as far as we can. Back it up. Just focusing my breath in. Now that breath out. And we're going to open our arms wide, palms again facing the ceiling. And our wide tree. That breath flows in. And that breath flows out. Here. We're going to bring ourselves back up into that front part and then we start to turn to the floor. Taking that up, this we go. Not judging this thing, our bodies be what our bodies are tonight. And do what feels good. Let's bring ourselves back to that point of balance. Gently going to bring ourselves toes just on the floor, foot on the shin, or we're going to bring it all the way up. Standing tall. Earlier, you stand a little taller. We take those arms wide, the neck tree. Shoulders are soft. Crown is lifted to the sky. At the end of this next breath cycle. We're going to bring that knee all the way back up into that front line. And then release that foot down to the floor, taking that back. Letting go of that tension. Back here. From here with the feet wide, nice and wide, just over shoulder. Ah, hip distance apart, toes are just inched out ever so slightly. Yes. So just a slight turn on the toes. Okay, from here we're going to inhale, exhale, send the tail feathers back into that forward fold. Let's Taking that sway. From here, we're going to anchor those hands down to the ground and lower those tail feathers. And bring the head up. We're going to lower the side as well. And when you can support yourself on your hands, you can place those wedges underneath the backs of your heels and tap on the log at mat or block. From here, we're going to sit tall. Be a choice, gentle movement, touch of stillness. It's so good. I'm going to anchor those tail feathers down to the ground. Get the soles of our feet together in that cobbler. Close, far apart. Whatever works for you. It may be close, it may be far apart. Everybody's different. We're just going to let those shoulders slide all the way back and down. And that breath is just going to flow in and out. Sit on blocks, you can sit on cushions. Everything's good. Okay. 
as we breathe out, we're going to circle those shoulders all the way up, down, and back. And we're going to bring that nose all the way down into our chest. As we breathe in, circle those shoulders to the front and bring the nose up. Exhale, circle the shoulders back, and the nose curls down into the chest. Inhale, we circle, the nose rises. And again, we circle them back. The nose curls down into the chest. Happy day. And the nose rises one more time. That's from here. We're going to take it onto our backs. And we're going to come up into more legs onto chair, onto bed, onto table, or up the wall. Whatever works for you. Taking those legs high. And remember, we can support under our shoulders, into our neck, under our head. We can lift our tail feathers slightly and place a cushion under there. We can take the arms wide into the cactus T, into the scarecrow, all the way overhead, or just leave them down by our sides. Everything's good. This evening, we're just giving ourselves permission just to totally relax. Let go of all that we've done today. Let go of that to do list, not done list, should have done this. Let go of all those ruminations on what's going to happen if this happens. Go of rerunning old conversations. I should have said this, if only I had said that. Just bring the mind back away from that chatter. The sensations in your body. The sensations with your feet possibly getting a little colder. So your legs feeling heavy into their leg socket. The back, and the head, fully supported on the floor. Four more breath cycles here. Gently slide those feet all the way down and off our table, chair, bed, wall, wherever they're up. We're going to slide ourselves back, back onto our mats. Fabulous. And go around and go on the cushion. We're going to come up into our supportive bridges. Just tucking that cushion underneath. The sporty part in the bottom. So it's not on your back, it's on your bottom. Turn palms to face up. 
So making sure there's no pressure, no weight in the back of your head and your neck. It's coming down into your shoulders. Here. From here, if you want to, extending the left leg long. And then the right leg long. Breath in. Two more breaths here. Slide one leg forward, press it down onto the floor, slide the other leg in, lifting the tail feathers high, remove that position and gently curling it back down to the ground. And let's hug those knees all the way in. We'll do a little circle on the knees to the left. Look to circle his knees to the right. Different version of that as a left foot to take the left foot to the floor, the right foot taking the arms into that cactus T. We're going to take a supine twist all the way over to the left. And then the gaze over to the right. That breath flow in. And that breath flow in. Have your pressing the feet into the floor, bring the knees all the way up. Let's take it over to the other side. Taking the knees over and turning the gaze in the opposite direction. Gently bring those feet or knees all the way up. Let's hug those knees in towards the body, crossing the ankles, grab the top of the feet, and let's rock and roll all the way up to sitting. All the way up. Let's interlace those fingers. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale. Reach all the way down. Exhale. Reach high. Exhale. All the way down. Let's turn the nose all the way over the left shoulder. Bring the gaze all the way over the right. The next breath is set, taking the nose all the way over the other shoulder, taking the gaze as far as you can in that direction. Bring the gaze back to center. And let's inhale, take the hands high. Thank you again for joining me this evening. It's a brief session, but thank you very much for joining me. And I'll see you again later in the week. There is our solution tomorrow, which is all about the abs in under 30 minutes. And then there is awake yoga and Pilates on Saturday. And of course, there's chill yoga on Sunday. Take care, guys. Bye.